There have been a few complaints about the quality of the comedy on this channel, so tonight we are redeeming ourselves. If you are a child, please stop watching. Here we go, today's joke. Today I found out my grandfather is addicted to Viagra. No one's taking it harder than my grandmother. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Lots of mail calls today. Not all of them are here because we moved houses. The coolest thing was from Scott Owl, my buddy from Sheffield, who sent me a coal tar soap. So it's a, it's a bar soap for cleaning, you know, not for shaving, for cleaning. And uh, I told some of my North, Northern England friends and they said, that is the stuff of legends. The stuff that my grandparents uh, swore cured all ill. So looking forward to that. I'm going to smell like a coal miner. Um, I also got purchased <clears throat> second hand, barely used Barrister and Man Hallows. So I'll use this tomorrow or the day after. This is the aftershave balm. It's a bit of a story behind that. So interesting. And what we're using tonight is something I also got from my buddy Scott. It's Edwin Jagger. Uh, shaving soap, lime and pomegranate. Pomegranate is, um, yeah, well, translated into Swedish, the grenade part, grenade part is Granat, which is my last name. So I feel connected. Thank you, Scott. Never tried Edwin Jagger. It is still a Sheffield brand, so I think razor soaps, whatever they make, are made in in Sheffield. That's the that's the logo. Never tried it before. Never tried anything Edwin Jaggerish. So plastic still there. That's there's the logo. So we'll we'll try and save the logo, taking the plastic off here. Not doing terribly well. There you go. Oh, it smells of lime and pomegranate. So that, there's the logo. So we'll save that and we'll try and lather from the other side. I don't have a, a, a tin or a jar for it, so I'll, I'll use it in my hand. I'll let it dry and then I'll think of something. The brush is, you know, close to Sheffield. It's from China. So that's what we're going to use. It's a uh, Maceto. It's a uh, hmm, car member millimeter, but it's, uh, it's a high density badger brush. Is it a 30 millimeter? Maybe it is. I can't remember. Memory is bad. Okay, so we're going to, I'm, I'm going to do it down here because otherwise there will be trouble with the wife. There will be blood and as much as you guys like to see blood when people are shaving you don't want to see a grown man cry because his wife told him off because he sprayed shaving soap all over the bathroom mirror there you go so yeah new soap interesting i know nothing of it and Lathering like this is a bit unusual. So what a lot, what you should do is grate this down into some kind of container with that has a lid and then load from there. But I, I don't want to mess up the the logo thing, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, it smells lovely, lovely, lovely. So Scott, is this made in Sheffield? Maybe it says on the on the box. Well, it's a Sheffield brand that is still making shaving stuff. That's pretty cool. So you get the you get the cakey feeling that you want to get. No fluffy, frothy stuff. Nothing like that. 
just pure, pure cakiness. Toothpaste sensation. That's what you really want. Toothpaste is what you want. When you have a, just a damp brush, what you want to go for is toothpastey. Hmm. So we don't know how much water this thing likes or can take or anything like that. We're just going to try it out. We have a badger brush and those are leather thieves. So sometimes you have to load more than you thought you needed. But it's, it's pretty cool, you know, to get a gift from the auctionman. I mean, they're not famous for wanting to part with, uh, with money, you know? I do business with some of them. They're tight as hell. Nah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. You can play around with that stuff for a while, but I don't know. I think maybe we'll call it a day. Sh should we add more water and agitate it just a tad more? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. What's your favorite music from Sheffield? Let me hear it. You can Google, that's okay. So Sheffield is in South Yorkshire, in England, in the north of England, for you who haven't been there. And you know, Yorkshire is the, is the best part of, of Great Britain. That's an objective fact. Right, Scott? And they have one team in the Premier League of football. Right, Scott? <laughs> Scott supports the other team. Bit of bourbon. Buffalo Trace today, as per usual. Considering the British theme, maybe it should have been whiskey. But this is what we're doing. Oh, we have gin too. See what we do with that later. I just can't let this baby go. So we're going twice in a row with the Böker, Heinrich Böker, Edelweiss. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, every morning you greet me. Oh, that was nice. Some of the best singing we've heard on YouTube in a while. At least in shaving videos, right? Dolly Parton on the television. God knows why she's visiting Sweden for some reason. Or at least she's on Swedish. Talk show TV singing. So 15 euro razor off auction site. Cleaned it up with washing up liquid. <clears throat> Had my buddy, the Guru Niklas, cut off the, the jagged edge uh, or, or toe, put an edge to it. There you go. Now, Böcker still today make this razor. I, I don't know how old this is. This is a, quite a few years on it. But they make a 5 8 Edelweiss razor today. It looks the same. And you have to pay 190 plus euros for it. I haven't tried the new one, but I can still guarantee this shaves just as nice. And this is 15. So sometimes you're lucky. I mean, a lot of people say don't buy your straight razors off eBay. And quite often that is correct, but sometimes, 
sometimes you can find gems. And this is mother of pearl and you know, wow, it's really good. And especially if you're ready to spend a bit of time and a bit of elbow grease, or you have a friend who would do it to, to mend a racer. Like for example, if the scales are broken, you can fix that. You can make new ones. I can't, so I, I mend them. If they're broken, if this is broken, I mean straight off broken, so in two pieces. <coughs> Damn Corona thing. You can mend it. It's not gonna be perfect, perfect, but you take it apart, you put a thin piece of transparent plastic on the on the on behind, and you put epoxy glue and you squeeze that in, and it's gonna work. <coughs> And then you've mended the scales. Would I do that for plastic scales? Maybe not. But I do that with horn scales from, you know, 1850. And it's not perfect, but it's, in my opinion, a whole lot nicer than just throwing them away and making new. Sometimes you have to, but if you can mend scales, old scales, you know, with lead in lace and that sort of thing. Wow. It's a cool thing. So, this razor is ridiculous. Ridiculously good. And it's a steal for 15 euros. So, voila. Friday today. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, it's Friday. It's been a busy week. It's been a good week. Um, I've done some, some nice pieces of business. I've been getting quite a bit of criticism lately for doing a poor job with that, but I've done well this week. So, quite happy. But you know, in the work life, it's a lot of politics. And I'm shit at politics. And I actively ignore them because I think it's bullshit. And that's not so smart. It's better to engage in politics. It's better to kiss a bit of ass. It's better to, you know, rub the important people the right way. I, I just have a hard time doing that. And you know, I'm, I'm not an, I'm a peaceful guy. I don't pick fights. I don't, you know, stand on the barricade fighting for me or other people. I'm very low key, um, don't like conflict, that sort of thing. But I, I won't, I won't kiss ass. I just, I just won't. I know quite often I really should. And it's dead easy if you're a little bit clever and have a bit of the feel for, <clears throat> for the room. I, 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 I can't. I can't say that I've tried, but I, I, I just won't. So your career suffers from that quite often. But, okay, so be it. Second pass. So you see a bit of patina on, uh, you can't see, it's poor lighting, poor mirror. But instead of polishing this up with metal polish, and I was afraid to do that because there is a semi-good um, uh, etching. I just cleaned it up with washing up liquid, as I said, and a toothbrush. So it's clean, but it's not shiny, shiny, but you can, you know, this thing has been around and you can, you can tell. Still, good condition, no scratches, no nothing. And the edge is perfect. And a nice soap, nice, fresh smelling 
like lime in the soap. I've got several. I think it's the first soap I have with pomegranate. <clears throat> so, cool thing. Edwin Jagger. So, do they still make the racers and the soap in Sheffield? Let me know. And your favorite band or artist from Sheffield. And it's allowed to Google. Are those guys from Sheffield? I don't know. Well, check it out. I've said this before. My only recollection of Sheffield is being there on a summer day, sort of, when could that have been? August 1996. And I went with friends from Leeds and we went skiing in Sheffield, dry skiing. <laughs> it's the cra- oh my God. It's one of the craziest things I've done. So, so you have a slope, like a ski slope, and you have brushes, they look like big washing up, like dishwasher brushes, but they're, I don't know, this big, all over the place and water being sprayed on it. <laughs> and that's your skiing. And they had a, a mogul slope, which nearly killed me, mind you. Because if you're used to skiing on snow, then the response when you go, when you do the turns, the response from w washing up brushes plus water is slightly different from snow in the Alps or, or the, the Swedish mountains. Just a little bit different. And I used to be a fairly good skier, but I was all over the place. But it was lovely. So it's big, it's like a valley. A lot of Sheffield is a valley, mountains on both sides, at least where the ski slope was. And it's a beautiful view. Really is lovely. One of my favorite films, I've talked about this as well. Uh, sort of set in Sheffield. I don't know if it's filmed in Sheffield, but it, it feels like Sheffield. And it's called The Full Monty. <laughs> you, you know, British film at its best. So you need to see that. It's a comedy. And it's like steel industry shut down, everybody's miserable, everybody's unemployed, even the foreman is, is unemployed. And the, he meets his former, you know, subordinates at, at, the, at the unemployment office. <clears throat> everybody's broke. Um, he has a certain reputation to uphold. He wears a tie still and well, yeah, it's just funny. It's it's absolutely brilliant. And there's a lot of Northern English movies that are phenomenal. Yeah, from Durham, which is, is it Yorkshire? I think maybe North Yorkshire. At least it's Northern England, Durham, uh, Billy Elliot. Oh, what a good film. Brassed Off. Don't know where that's supposed to be from, I can't remember. Beautiful. Tara, what's her name? Tara Reed. And Ewan McGregor. Love. Northern English film is, and then there's Scott's favorite. What the heck is he called? It's from the 70s. It really hasn't aged well. Rita, Sue and, I can't remember. Put it in the comments, Scott. <laughs> he said, you have to watch that, it's really good. 
and I did. Um, oh my God. Okay, that would not have aired on any state television in Europe today, I can assure you. It was quite funny though. Northern English people are phenomenal people. Tough people. They're hard people. They've gone through through so much agony and shit. Um, but they're, you know, proud, standing up, strong. You know, I admire people like that. They go out drinking in January, where it's minus two and it's snowing a bit, in short-sleeved shirts and jeans. But the lasses will be in short skirt, and that's it. And when I lived there, I lived in Leeds, I'd go out with a thick coat and a hat and gloves and handkerchief. <laughs> I'd say, where's the wardrobe? And they'd just look at me. Who's this person from Mars? I don't know. It's just, I admire people from the north of England. You lot are awesome. This is, uh, this would, oh, this is a northern English style aftershave. It's Swedish. It's pure freaking evil. It hurts. Uh, like hell, even if you had a good shave, it m k murders the skin. But just in case CDB is watching, I'm not gonna scream. Oh, and it's over. That's just pure alcohol and barbed wire, that sort of thing. They should send that on, on export. I don't know if you can, they really should. It's winter, so I'm going to put a balm on and I'm going to put it straight away. I love this thing. I got this from John Lyle. This is Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1. My first one I purchased at CVC in uh, downtown Miami. And this is... A, it's not an artisan thing. It probably has a lot of shit in it. I haven't even checked. It just works beautifully. That's an aftershave and it smells so good. It really does. It smells awesome. And it does its, its job. It rehydrates the skin and you're good to go. So we use some good stuff today. Edwin Jagger Lime and Pomegranate Shaving Soap from Sheffield. Thank you, Scott. And the Masito brush and the Edelweiss razor, evil, good, aftershave, basta, that's it. So, Hallows from Barrister Man coming up at a theater close to you very soon. Thank you for watching. Friday evening, have a good end of the week. Um, enjoy your Friday and uh, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. See you soon. Stay sharp.